Hey, y'all, listen. I need for you to keep going. Don't quit. Don't stop. Don't believe the lie. It's all distractions. Listen, when all hell breaks loose in your life, that lets you know that your water just broke, okay? You know that you have been in a space of expectancy, which means where you've been expecting. You've been expecting to receive those things in earth as it is in heaven, which means what? The promises of God, those things that you spoke with your mouth, the life that you spoke and you believe in God's word then you conceived the word God said now you're about to bring it forth you went through the first trimester the second trimester and the third trimester and you handled yourself well you were not weary in well doing and therefore you have come into your due season which means what your due date how many of you all know that when a woman when she reaches her due date to give birth her water has to break whether it breaks on its own or the doctor breaks it. And when that water breaks, what happens? The womb begins to contract. And when the womb begins to have contractions, the service begins to work with it, which means what? Everything begins to work in order, begin to get in alignment, to cause forth a pathway, a door to be opened. That's what happens with the service. It begins to open, begin to form a door, a pathway, so that the baby can come down, right? That's where you are right now. And the enemy knows it. And just as soon as the enemy realized that your water broke, don't you know he made an announcement in the kingdom of darkness? Don't you know he sound an alarm and began to tell the demons and the imps and whatnot to tell them that you just got into a space to give birth? And therefore he said, we got to do something to stop it. So what does he do? He comes in as distraction. And that distractions look like any and everything contrary to the will of God, to the promises of God for your life. And that's what we call all hell breaking loose. I need for you not to be distracted. I need for you to keep your eyes on God. Don't be like Peter and take your eyes off of Jesus. Keep your eyes on Jesus. God says this, they that keep their mind stayed on him, he will keep you in perfect peace. Perfect peace just does not mean that you are able to close your eyes and go to sleep. No, it means that you have a sound mind. Having a sound mind, that's perfect peace. Trusting in God with all your heart, that's perfect peace. Relying on God, that's perfect peace. But you, in order for you to do that, you've got to keep your eyes stayed on him. And God is saying you're at that place right now, at the right place, right time to give birth. Your water has broke and the enemy knows it and therefore all him is broken loose. God said, don't fall for the okie doke. Don't fall for that distraction. I know the enemy is trying to make it look and seem as if what he has brought your way is going to do harm and damage. But you got to remember the word of God that a thousand shall fall by your side and 10,000 at your right hand and it shall not hurt you. It shall not come nigh you. None whatsoever. Yea, though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, it seems like what you're in, that it's going to bring death. But no, the enemy is showing death because you're about to bring forth life. The enemy always bring in the opposite of what you're about to do. If you said you're going to be a chef, he'll allow people to come around you to tell you you can't cook. Did you hear me? If you plan on being a racer, whether you you know do marathons, somebody will tell you, oh, you ain't fit for that because it takes a lot. He'll bring to you always the opposite of what you are going to bring forth in birthing. He will. He will. He'll bring people around you to tell you, you tell you you ain't marriage material. Why? Because your bow ass is on the way. Why? Because your Esther is on the way. Don't be distracted. Don't be distracted. Oh, hell has only broken loose. Because your water just broke. You're about to give birth. You're about to see what God has promised you. You're about to see those things coming to flourishing. You're about to see that God don't lie. And other people around you are going to see that God don't lie. And I want you to know this. That the reason why the enemy is fighting so hard to try to cause for you to have a miscarriage. To try to cause for you to not give birth. It's because he knows that what you carry is going to bring deliverance all around the world. Anyone that you come in contact with. That gift. That baby that you're about to birth forth. That God has promised you. It's going to be a light unto to this world just like his son Jesus Christ and the enemy doesn't want it why because it stops his plan it stops his agenda so you better stay the course because I'm telling you your water just broke your water just broke and your cervix is preparing for you to push so stay the course don't quit keep moving forward
In other words, keep pushing, pressing towards the mark because you're about to see what God has promised you. Y'all know I love you, but most of all, Jesus loves you too and more. Y'all be blessed. I'll talk to y'all soon, okay? Ciao.